Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up the Sonar Cocos Helper for your Android side of your project. Uh, the Sonar Cocos Helper is pretty much something we've written to try and make it really easy for you to add in Facebook, Twitter, game analytics, ads uh, into your Cocos project without having to do a whole lot and hopefully it will help you uh, in your projects. So, first thing you're going to need to do is download these two zip files and the first one is called Sonar Cocos Helper and the second one is called External Cocos Helper Android Frameworks now uh, I'll put the links in the description where you can get these two zip files from and once you've downloaded them you want to go ahead and extract them both And once it's finished, I'll just quickly run through both of them. So, in the Sonar Cocos Help folder, you have uh, quite a few files, but the only two we're going to be using is the Sonar Frameworks CPP file and the Sonar Frameworks uh, header file. The rest uh, for the iOS side of setting up. Uh, the Sonar Cocos Helper. So if you do want to do the iOS side, we will have videos on them, so you can go check them out, and that's where you'll be using the rest of those files. And in the external Cocos Helper Android frameworks, we we have uh, a classes file, which is basically just got the JNI Helper uh, class to help call between uh, C++ and Java. We've got uh, frameworks which basically contain all the code for each framework we'll be using or we have at the moment and you've got the libs which is the libs that we use when writing this but obviously it's best to get the um, latest ones uh, but these ones are here just to make things simple for you we've got a resources folder and we have a source folder and an android manifest so in this video we're just going to be focused on uh, setting up ready to be able to uh, use the framework so we're only going to be using the Android manifest the source the res file and the classes folder and the frameworks and libs each framework is going to have its own separate video on how you would set it up and how you would use it um, so be sure to check them out after you complete this video so yeah, so that's basically an overview of what's in each uh, folder. I'm going to go ahead and create a blank Cocos project. If you've already got a Cocos project, uh, great. If not, uh, I'm not going to explain how to create one, uh, but we do have a video on how you can create a Cocos project. So if you go check that out, create your project, and then you could come back here. So I'm just going to quickly create my project. Call it tutorial one uh, dash package systems dot tutorial one and then dash language cpp and I will probably speed up the video until this has been created. Okay, so my project has been created and it's been created in my root cocos folder which I already have open, tutorial one. So I'm just going to copy that to the desktop to make things simpler and easier to follow along with. So first thing I'm going to do is import my project into Eclipse. So I'm going to open up Eclipse and I'm going to hit OK. And you file, import existing Android code into workspace. I'm going to browse my project, tutorial one. And I'm going to deselect all. And I'm just going to select the libcocos2dx and the project.android-tutorial1 framework. And hit finish.
and it's going to be building it while it's importing it so I'll probably speed up the video as well until it's finished building okay so my project has a uh, finished building and I have an error at the moment which is usually resolved by cleaning and then building yep so that may or may not happen to you it's just a weird thing that's happening on my end so uh, my project built fine and it's all in and ready to go so I'm just going to minimize Eclipse and I'm going to open up my project that I just imported folder and I'm going to start with the Sonar Cocos helper folder I'm just going to copy the Sonar Frameworks H and the Sonar Frameworks CPP files into my classes folder and I'm going to close that down then I'm going to go into the external Cocos uh, helper Android Frameworks folder and I'm just going to drag across the classes actually I'll copy it so I still have a copy of it and I'll just paste and it'll just merge all it did was just copy the JNI helpers in as well next you want to copy the source file folder into your project.android and hit paste and it will ask you if you if you want to overwrite this app activity java file so hit yes or replace the file in destination and then if you copy the res uh, folder across as well and that's just going to merge uh, some XML files we provide and finally we're going to open up both manifests uh, so open up a project one first and then the one we provide and you drag the one we provide to the left hand side so in your project you would have given it a uh, package name so I've given mine the package name of sonar systems tutorial one and what you want to do is copy your package name from your XML file into the XML file we provide and overwrite whatever package name is there so at the moment it is sonar.systems.framework.testapp uh, just overwrite it and hit save and once you've done that uh, copy across the manifest you just saved and overwrite that manifest and that's pretty much it and we're going to go back into Eclipse so I'm in Eclipse and I'm going to refresh my project and I should get an error or might get an error if I try and build it yeah okay so if you try and build it after you've copied uh, copied it, all those things across you'll get this error of no resource identifier found for attribute hardware accelerated so if you go into the manifest <coughs> and click on android manifest.xml we have this uh, value called android hardware accelerated equals true and we've got that for uh, chart boost uh, video ads so um, the reason I'm getting an error is it needs a minimum SDK version of 11 which I've set here but when I import my project if you right click on your project and go to properties and then click on the Android tab mine's default into an API level of uh, 10 now I do have a later one installed I do have API 21 so I'm going to tick that and click OK and then build the project sorry clean the project and it should build fine now there you go so the error is gone now now if if you uh, went to here and you didn't have one that was you didn't have an API that was 11 or higher 
all you have to do is just go to your Android SDK manager and from here you can select you know one of the many APIs um, it's usually better to go with the latest one but you know choice is entirely up to you and you just download and then you'd be able to select it from uh, your project settings so that's that error taken care of the next thing we need to do is we've added in the sonar frameworks H header and CPP and the JNI header and CPP but what we haven't done is actually added them to our Android MK so we're going to add them now so we're going to our Android MK and just add in uh, classes JNI uh, helpers CPP and sonar frameworks cpp and save that and close it and build it one last time and that is it you are set up and ready to watch uh, how to add in the framework of your choice but uh, before you go on to those videos I just want to uh, walk you through a few things that you will be needing to do when you come to those videos oh, the main the main things you will change when you're using it so if you expand the uh, source folder and the sonar.systems.framework and if you go into the sonar framework settings.java everything by default in here is set to false and basically what you would do is um, say you wanted to use RevMob you just come into here set it to true and you can see in the comments on the side it says what uh, it requires so it requires the RevMob jar file and the Google Play Services uh, library so you would add them into your your project as well but again don't worry about that we will be doing a video for each one of these uh, frameworks and showing you exactly how to add in the required libraries and linking and all that sort of thing so just to show you that you'll be coming into the settings just to set true for any framework that you want to use in your project and lastly you will be using if you go into the resources file and then values you see this sonar framework settings.xml and inside here we have uh, lots of different keys that you can set so in the admob case you would set your admob uh, ID so that you can uh, link it to your account and same for Google Play and Facebook and Chartboost and all that and again we will be showing you how to set up uh, your keys and you know putting them in and for each individual framework so you don't need to worry but it's just to show you that here you would come to set any keys that you need and then the source settings is where you want to set if you're going to be using that framework or not and I'll just quickly show you uh, the example usage just just of what you would be doing so if you wanted to say let's say sign into Google Play uh, you would include the uh, sonar frameworks header file and by default everything is in this sonar cocos helper namespace so you can either include the using namespace to avoid having to type out sonar uh, cocos helper all the time but I'm, I'm just going to type it out for now and you would write something like uh, so let's say Google Play Services sign in and it would be as simple as that once you set up that's all you would do but if you wanted to do just uh, using namespace so our code cause oops Let's postpone this. <laughs> Sonar Cocos Helper. I could then just do 
Google Play Services sign-in and it would be as simple as that so yeah so check out the um, individual framework videos for the frameworks you're interested in adding and we'll walk you through on how to set those up so hopefully this video has been helpful and yeah have a good day